Hey, what's up, guys? This is Pat Bowles with another round productions. Sitting here in another round disc golf in Charlotte, North Carolina, with my main man KB from Final Round Radio Fame. How's it going, KB? Oh, it's going great. I can't can't believe I'm back in the commentary seat. This is so fun. And today we're bringing you the Piney Point Palooza, presented by Crafty Beer Guys from a tournament down in Norwood, North Carolina. Yeah, nobody knew where Norwood Norwood was before this, and now they might know. Small town. Yeah, that's questionable, but <laughs> tiny. <laughs> the Piney Point Palooza, what made that tournament special, KB? Um, a lot of people having a lot of fun. A lot of beers are flowing, non-PDGA, but still we got the best golfers you're about to see. And today we're bringing you a couple local pros, local legends, and some traveling guys as well. And leading after the first round, Steven Schroeder from Charlotte, North Carolina, shooting a negative 14. Yeah, Schroeder can crush. Sidearm, backhand, huge. I mean, we're talking like 450 plus on both sides of the plate. And then we have former AM Masters World Champion Ken Taberski from Raleigh, North Carolina, one stroke back at negative 13. I can't believe Discraft isn't sponsoring him. I mean, he throws an all Discraft bag, and he's got, I think he putts with Glow Challengers. Glow something. It's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Get on that, Discraft. And then from <laughs> Junction City, Oregon, Justin Anderson shooting a negative eight. I can't wait to watch a guy play I've never seen. That's so much fun. Then we have our local legend, David Weedy French, former AM World Champion, at 5-under after the first round. If you think I talk a lot, oh, I can't wait to hear Weedy talk. And play, but mostly talk. Absolutely. And the <laughs> T-pad that they're going to be teeing off of is hole one, a 467-foot par four, probably playing as a par three for these guys. The lake and the cart path to the right is OB. That was better. Right, guys. Yeah, I mean, I, Steven's probably going to go for it, hey, uh, I would assume. Uh, Tyberski, Tyberski's, I don't know, he probably won't, he's got the distance if he wanted to, so, Let's see what they do. I believe that's a PD2 right. he's throwing right there. All right. right. Seems a little wide. And he is absolutely is parked. He nice shot. I didn't hear a splash. <laughs> This is a crush. I mean, most people throw like a 280-foot shot. Oh, Ken's going for it, isn't he? Yes, he is. Is that going to have the distance? I uh, came up a little short. Splash. No, he didn't. Let's see what the West Coast guys can do with this hole. I bet you they could throw a little farther. A little short. It's tough. I don't have the arm for it. Skip on the island. Yeah, not many people do. It no. feels like you can throw. It's a little plays a little shorter because of the downhill nature. But uh, Steven was the only one. Well, we'll wait for Weedy to throw. <laughs> oh my God! What just happened? <laughs> that was a lot of action. He throws a long way. Give me some wind. Yeah, he definitely Give me does. Some wind. Oh, and he came up just short. That is actually out Where's of bounds because that is a marshy area on the edge of the on the edge of the lake there. And uh, Steven was the only one to Jump really in. have a tap in you yes. know, each round. So that's a stroke on the field right there. And the rest of these guys are going to the drop zone, Double throwing their up feet. shots. Uh, that's a fine. short little 180 feet. Yeah, Pro should hit that button. Yeah. It's really a deep. What's, uh, what's the distance here on this drop zone, oh. Pat? A little longer than that, <laughs> I believe, is the correct distance. Uh, <laughs> there's the questionable part on whether or not Weedy was taking in the beers. but. Uh, Oh, that's true. Oh, Woo. wow. Ooh, that second shot gave it a good run. It looked like, what, 130, something like that? Yeah, maybe. All right. Good putt. Absolutely solid putt by Yeah, Justin. like I said, Justin, any top pro, any guy in the lead card is probably going to make that putt. Maybe some first hole nerves made it going a little left, but he'll stay well. And Schroeder picks up two strokes at least on the rest of the players, getting an eagle on that hole. That's just a mash. He was the only one, like I said before, he's the only one to, to eagle that hole, and he did it twice in competition. It's unbelievable. Absolutely, and we're seeing a few tap outs here. So after the first hole, Steven Schroeder getting that two. Taberski and Anderson getting the fours, and David French. I think he had a little bit too many, uh, too many lunch beers there, Weedy. Yeah, he had a struggle on that first hole. Let's see if he can pick it up throughout the rest of the round. Oh, now we got hole two is 330 feet. You're going to see guys throwing all different forehands, backhands, low ceilings. Uh, should be a fun shot here. All right, this is where it's a little bit different on uh, 
a regular traditional ball golf hybrid. Having a shot like that, that beautiful. Absolutely, forehand in that Firebird to perfection. It's a good shot out there because what you don't realize just looking at it here is that late, that tree right about, well, to the left of Ken's this there, plays a lot later in the throw than, than what it looks like on film. Absolutely, and that ceiling is no joke either. <laughs> Oh, Justin, a little tight. Hits the tree. All right, how many body movements can will we have on a short throw? At least six. <laughs> you can't rag on him, though, man. He's, like, what, 2000 AM world champion? Ah, something like that. Some old thing. <laughs> Take that outside uh, route. I didn't we, see that happen very much. We, we love you, man. <laughs> That'll play fine. Yeah, nice little layup. It's tough to go for that putt from that far with that ceiling. Found the one tree on the course. <laughs> Good lining up. Oh, wow. Was that about like a 30 footer? Something I don't even like know that? if it was that. I don't right. know if that tree got in his way or got in his head, but, uh, you know, that happens from time to time. Well, Steven's got a pretty aggressive putt, you guys can see there. And he, this happens to him sometimes. And, if there's one flaw in this game, I'd, he might not agree with me, but I'd say it's putting. That's a nice 30-footer from Weedy there. A putting league distance. <laughs> Absolutely. And Ken says, give me those two strokes back, Schroeder. Oh, yeah, Gets he did, a didn't birdie. He? Good point. Justin cleaning up and Schroeder. Taking that long walk of shame up to tap in that four. So now we're on to hole three. Oh, there's a little somebody in there fishing out some discs. On the hole. <laughs> uh, it's probably Saul swimming. Yeah, it was Saul swimming. So as I said before, Taberski picks up two strokes on Schroeder. And Weedy getting the birdie coming back a little bit there. And we're on to <laughs> hole three. 380 foot par three, no OB on this hole, but a low ceiling and plays pretty downhill. Yeah, I think the the play is just a flat shot through this right gap, which I'm sure will get hit right there. Yeah, that's it. You can't do it any better. I don't know. It held a little straight there at the end. Yeah, okay, you can do it better, but that's pretty good, <laughs> man. Yeah, and we. Wow, I just can't imagine how he gets a clean release on that, but it sure does work. Hey, Pat Bowles, that was for you. Pat Bowles, that was for you. <laughs> that was funny. we got to get him doing commentary for us one day. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Justin landed a little low. I know Ooh. you can see it there, but he landed right before that tree, so that's he's gonna, way back. That's a tester upshot probably. Yeah, that fast green up there is going to be tough to get to. Schroeder putting out another Firebird. All right, he did it better than Ken. Through, that's Firebird? I believe that was a Firebird. It's a little, lot of torque, man. That's a beautiful shot. You're almost like flexing it, almost like Nico. Yeah. Justin got the long upshot. Uh, Nick kind of held him out there, oh, didn't wow. it? Yeah. He wasn't. He just wasn't in a great spot. Weedy just a little right, but that's still a good play. You know, easy three from there. Uh, uh, yeah, I like seeing that. That's a great bird. save. Oh, question Absolutely. All right, Weedy. Is that a light rail straw? No doubt right here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, God. Weedy, thanks for the, the store plug. Another round of disc golf. <laughs> and, yeah, that is a light rail. But I don't really care about that. I don't want to see this putt. If you're an uptown trial, you can okay. take the light road straight to the only <laughs> true dedicated disc golf pro shop in Charlotte. That's awesome, Kevin. Really? How many beers do you have, Weedy? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Not enough. Keep talking about my store. I'll take it all day. And that's a heck of a tee shot for a birdie from Steven Schroeder. I mean, I'm trying to pump like a DDX, you know, down there. And Schroeder just goes, oh, how about a Firebird? Sure. Absolutely. So there's still, yep. Ken still one stroke back and uh, 
both of them birdieing. I think a, a birdie is probably a pretty rare score on that hole, too. Yeah, they made this hole look easy, and 380 feet with a low ceiling is no joke. And now we're on to hole four. It's a 297-foot par three. Big Anheuser forehand around. Some people were throwing the low shots underneath the branch. Let's see how these guys attack it. It's a hole I like. Just a dump. Dump Heiser just powered into the window there. Oh, low. Wow. Okay. Playing that, that flare to perfection. A little short. I didn't even think about it. A little short. I think that's like 10 feet. Oh, 15 footer. Yeah. So tough, Ken. Yep. Yeah, there's the big power Heiser. Oh. Park it down. Yeah, still inside 20, 25 feet. Yeah, it's in the wheelhouse. Not really sure. I guess Weedy was trying to take that direct line underneath, but he ended up with a 40-footer or so. A little tight. Yeah. It's easy up and down, but you want to have a putt at this hole. Ooh, held it a little tight. Gonna have a tester. I wonder who was driving the cart. Just random things I think about when I'm watching disc golf. That's a tough spot to end up with that tree in the way. That's that's not an easy putt at any time. And a four or worse, so yeah, that's that stings a little bit for him. Mm, weedy giving it a good run. You know he he's so unconventional, but it gets there usually. The great inside the circle putter. So is Ken. Yep. That was like 20 footer. Yeah. Well played. Leaders are kind of yep. taking off right now. Yeah, they're pulling away from the rest of the field, that's for sure. Justin cleaning up that bogey. That's tough on that hole. There you go. Look at all those pine cones. And that session tangerine. Absolutely. So, Justin Anderson losing, a f taking a four, and losing another stroke to the field. But it's, I mean, it, it really is a two horse race right now, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but I think it's going to be a pretty tight race. Absolutely. Hole five, two twenty three. It's a little dinker, tight wood shot. Some will take the forehand hyzer, backhand hyzer, straight shot, and OB left and right. I think the, I'd guess. You're going to see everybody playing this straight shot here. I mean, if you can't control 220 feet right down the middle, okay, here I am proven wrong again. By the way, Ken, a little long on that shot. Was it? That's Firebird. That makes sense right here. There's a couple trees that come into play as that disc comes back in. So, you know, although it's an easier release out of the hand, it, it probably is a pretty safe percentage shot. Wheat, weedy, ending up on the right side of that top tight gap. Let's give uh, Chuck a, a big shout out for letting us use some baskets out here. So, Chuck Connolly, thank you so much. Absolutely, That's Chuck Connolly of the Spy Kaiser Tour. He is the man in North Carolina. Another solid three from Weedy. <laughs> uh, so that's not what you want on this course, unfortunately. Solid 30 foot putt. He's such a good putter. Justin bringing in the birdie. A little bounce back from that bogey on the previous hole. Yeah, that stroke looked confident, clean, good. And uh, that's right there. That's what Steven needed right there. He needed just a tap in. You know, two tap ins in a row. It's got to feel pretty good. Oh, there's the wild boys right there. So everybody on the car except for we taking a two. Way to ruin that star frame. Oh, he's winning in his mind. Yeah, I don't think anybody was having more fun than Weedy out there. So next up, we got hole six, the first par four of the round. It's 651 feet. No OB. This is just a big rip, Kevin. Uh, I would expect a couple rollers, a couple mash backhands, and it's it's pretty easy for for these guys. So uh, the second shot plays a little tricky, a little fast. Uh, that's going to set him up perfect. He's going to have about 275, 250 feet. Yeah, probably right about that. Yeah. Jesus. Steven just throwing it way up there. 
completely lost it. There it comes down there at the end. I think I just heard Weedy say, I think that's Obi Long. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lake a mile or two off. Oh, there you go. Man, Justin can rip. Yeah. Justin showing these East Coast boys how to throw long. Yeah. Weedy <laughs> just coming out of the gates. Playing Charlie Coleman golf. I'll tell you, all I heard was the steps coming up. I thought he was joking. I didn't realize he was actually going to throw that when I was filming it. So it was kind of fun. Basket's down there in those trees, a little downhill. We just line up big hyzer. Yeah? No? Eh, it's a little too big, I a little think. Wide. All right. Yeah. You can see the flag down there. Uh, so, okay. Same, that's right. <laughs> I didn't play this hole well, so I don't remember it too well. <laughs> Surprise! You remember any holes, Kevin? Oh, uh, I was I was pretty deep into it. A little zone action down to the basket. Yeah, I was KB, in the zone. Oh, Kevin. you're talking about the disc. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> from Ken Taberski. <laughs> that was. I mean, having a zone into that hole is a phenomenal drive. Yeah. Like Justin held it out a little wide. He's got a 30, 40 footer coming back up the hill. That's too bad. It's really pulling for him to put one under the pen. Schroeder pulling that trusty Firebird again. Oh my God. <laughs> just a little hit on the basket. I was over here like... I keep trying, Weedy. <laughs> Weedy was trying to get him to throw one in the whole day. He uh, kept on yeah, calling it for him. I'm over here like, you guys can't see us, obviously, but I'm like, no, sit down, sit down, and I just caged it. Weedy giving it another good run, but settling for another good par. Damn. Oh, wow. Great putt into a headwind. 40 feet and strutting it out. Yeah. We cut him. We're like, no, stop strutting. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Moving on. No, that was phenomenal. Ken getting another birdie and... What? Weedy, you're such a jerk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's very funny. Another tap in for a birdie. These guys are having fun. Absolutely. I mean, look at all these beer sponsors. <laughs> Yeah, there's no doubt that there was a little beer going on there. No, it's still it's a two-horse race. Now, Justin's kind of pulling away from Weedy. I don't know if he's got any competition on that second card or not. Uh, there was Scott Radley was on that second card. He may have been making a push. Okay. Um, and it's a couple other players. Now we got hole seven, 335, OB down the right side, just a big right-to-left shot. Oh, and look at there. There's our tournament director, Elliot Blake. He's, he did not want to do a uh, do an interview. So, so we put him on there. <laughs> so I just put him in on there not doing an interview. <laughs> uh, he ran a, he's a first-time TD. Uh, I'm sure he had a little bit of nerves running it. But, I mean, can you imagine? And I don't know that guy's name, but he's been out here chugging beer. They've been, they're good car girls. They're doing great. Can you imagine your first TD event is an event like this? I mean, that's pretty cool. Most people just go to their local course and just, you know, get get a scoreboard. So Yeah. Uh, but this hole this hole is basic. I mean this that's the shot. Yeah. I mean I Ooh, that's a little tight. Them, it should be fine. Yeah, right off the path. He's all four parked. of them should have putts. Yeah. And those guys you saw in the carts, they were driving around handing out beers throughout the entire round. That was definitely a good time. Yeah. Or cheer wine for cheer me. Cheer wine for Pat. Schroeder. Oh, oh wow. Ooh. That's not it. What a skip. He almost went at that like a spike hyzer, but too tight. Yeah. You know, like maybe halfway through that run up, he decided to do something a little bit different to just to play it safe. Tell you what, I'm really impressed with the way Justin throws. That took a little bit of a skip, but he has a solid technique. And Speaking then we got Weedy. Solid technique. <laughs> I got him. Just kidding. As smooth as it can be, though. <laughs> Gonna have about a 25 footer. We didn't get throw far, man. I'm sure that was a rock or something. I think it was a T-bird. T-bird, okay. He was throwing a green T-bird a lot. He also had a green boss and other green things. Putt. Nice putt from Weedy. That ends the par train. I don't remember this much of a headwind on, on this course, or this much wind in general, but it seems like it's moving. Yeah, maybe the golf gods just held onto the wind just for this card. <laughs> Guys. Think you're stinking up? You think you're playing good? <laughs> I bet you Greg Watson takes you down. 
Oh, uh, okay, Weedy. Yeah, I think I was playing pretty well seeing how I won advanced. I wasn't on this card. I was a stroke off of being on this card if I was playing open, so mm. Weedy, I appreciate it. Yeah, but you guys are on a whole other level. Looks like Schroeder and Tversky are tied coming up a whole seven. Yeah, that was a big miss for Schroeder. It really was. It, he's probably kicking himself here, and he's, he's probably wanting to – Probably wants like a 500 footer just to rip on, but he doesn't get it. Yeah. And and I think like, you're gonna see this big tree on the right. I don't think you can play around it to the right. You might be able to, but that's a lot more open oh right there. Oh my goodness, than it looks. that is beautiful. Yeah, you see that CTP flag? Yeah. Just just saying. Looks like somebody's gonna challenge your idea of playing around it to the right. It's a big throw to do it. It's safe. Yeah, it's it's going to be a 35, the tester. Temple's Edge, Tester. Oh, I thought he was, I thought he was in. There he was. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaking up on us, Weedy. Good, too. Yeah. Tree does not give at all. And I'll bet Schroeder's going to take that big hyzer. He probably will. He likes to prove Kevin wrong. Yeah, he does a lot. I still think the, the better play for him is just a sidearm with something really overstable to the left. Yeah, I mean, he gives him about a 40-footer. Yeah, 30 to 40 feet. I mean, that, it's 300 some foot hole. He's got to be a little closer. Solid layup for a three, for a three yeah. from <laughs> Man, I am sensing Weedy. a theme. <laughs> Consistency from Weedy. Justin banging another That's long putt. That's a good putt. He needs it. Yeah, when Schroeder starts getting on a roll with that putter, you never know what might happen. Ooh, somebody challenging KBCTP. Yeah, didn't get it. I think Ken was a little bit in disbelief that he didn't get yeah. that CTP. That's right. All right, so everybody gets a two, and Weedy messes up the star frame. <laughs> Didn't he already do that once? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just, yep. <laughs> he is definitely. Yeah, but he's got the biggest smile out of everybody, like you said. Absolutely. Now we got hole nine, 320 feet par three. It's pretty straightforward. OB cart path left. The bunker on the right is not OB. No, I want to see somebody get in there. I really do. I never saw anybody get in there all day and have to putt from there. So if you're going to screw up, you do it on the right. Can you be long enough? Yeah. And holding it out there. No, it's a little short. Oh, yeah, a little, a little short. short again, 15 feet. Yeah, it's probably about 20, 25. Yeah. It is a little, it's, it's a little short for a 320-foot hole. They want to be right under it. Throwing a buzz. Oh, no. Oh, Justin going for a hyzer and just holding it out a little bit wide. That's too bad. This tree shouldn't even be in play. Oh, Schroeder. Swirly Firebird. Wow. Short grass in the basket. That works? It's a little short. I don't know. About 20 feet, 25, but it should be in the wheelhouse for Schroeder. And there's a car path behind it, but I, uh, from that distance, I don't think even with Schroeder's aggressive putt is going to come into play to worry about a three putt, so he should have a good look. Yeah. Get there. Weedy Park. testing that OB line long. Thank is you, long? Tree. Wow. Solid up go. shot, something over stable. Yeah, he need early. I keep saying they need it; they don't need anything. But early on the round, he had a tester up shot that he kind of messed up a little bit, so probably feels pretty good. Schroeder's getting a little hot with that putter. I can feel it. No. It's an error you don't see very often. Yeah, a little weak side. Maybe the wind got him a little bit. Oh, seemed like he putted a little bit more aggressive, too, to kind of putt through the wind. I, yeah. I was trying to say don't move, but I couldn't. Justin cleaning up his three. Oh, and we got Ken tapping still, out. I want to make sure all the putts go, all yeah. the putts go in. I was, that's what I was thinking if I was grabbing it for Oh, there's Crafty Beer Guys, Huntersville, North Carolina. They were our main sponsor for the event, did a lot of work. A ton. Yeah, and we got Steven Schroeder and 
Weedy getting a two. Look at that. So Schroeder taking that one stroke lead again. So we're halfway through, and Schroeder's exactly where he started. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Um, we got a hole 10, pretty straightforward, 293. Bush comes to play a little more for that hyzer than the picture puts on. Uh, and it is OB all right and behind the basket, about 10 feet right and 10 feet behind the basket. Probably the easiest hole on the course. Yeah. These guys. I mean, there is some OB, but. Sure. Yeah. Tested a little bit, but Firebird checked up pretty easy. Pretty sure Weedy was throwing a T-Bird here. He was throwing That's a, a lot of disc for this hole. He was throwing a T-Bird a lot. I, I don't know. He said it was a really overstable T-Bird. It looks like it. He's trying to test. He's probably ace running is what it is. At this point, he doesn't care. He just wants it to go in the basket. Yeah, I believe it was his birthday weekend, so Thanks. late happy birthday, Weedy. Thanks for letting me take your money, Weedy. <laughs> Whew. That's a good shot. Can land up there nice. And so the reason we were even allowed to use this property, that's got to sit. Justin sawed it off a little wow. bit, and that is out of bounds. That's unfortunate for him. Yeah, but um, they were completely changing the grass on the green. So normally golf, golf courses will plug the greens. And uh, this time they just said, hey, you're making us any kind of money? Sure, let's do it. So thank you to Piney Point. Can gets the putting stroke back after, just, after his brief... Yeah, issues. It was a, I mean, it was aggressive putt. So if you're gonna screw up, that was a little low. Right. Yeah. But if you're gonna mess up, you mess up aggressive. You know, that way you got something to back. You know, you get some confidence. Keep the confidence. Going. How many beers you got on tap these days? We did, we got five beers on tap. Man, you're killing me with this. <laughs> <laughs> he was sneaking up behind me more times than you can count. Trying to talk to All trying right. to talk to Kevin Burgess through the phone. Yeah, that's why we're doing commentary too. We yeah. had to. Absolutely, we had to respond to Weedy. So once again, Schroeder and Taberski pulling away. Uh, Schroeder holding that one stroke lead, and uh, these guys are at another level, it seems. And they're probably playing. The first round is probably some 10, 20 rated golf, and yeah. I mean this round is on par for that. And hole 11, 300 feet, par three, car path right OB. Most people are throwing a little hyzer flip. Some will go widen around. See how these guys play it. Uh, oh. Sawed it off a little bit. He might have a putt. Yeah, <laughs> he'll have a putt. I got it. With his kind of power, even a mess up, if he gets a little bit a little bit of love, he's got a chance for a birdie. That's kind of a skip through that. Yeah. A little short from Ken. Oh, he got caught up. I think Ken's got about a fifty for that. That's a good pull. Yeah, going that wide route, challenging that outside tree. And wins. Gets through. Yeah, Easy 15 footer. Justin oh, taking the inside. A little short. Yeah. Do you remember what he threw there by chance? Uh, was no. it a fairway driver or, or mid range? I think it was a mid. Okay. Right, that's probably why then. I think he and Ken both threw mids. So Schroeder's got a putt to go up two. Yeah, it's no easy, no gimme though. Nice little thirty-five footer. Yes. Oof. <laughs> He's pumped. <laughs> <laughs> You're really excited about that miss. Weedy taking the two. Hey, how about a hold that he birdied and nobody else birdied? Yeah, I don't. I'm confused. <laughs> He's just saving that one for the bank. <laughs> and Purple Pants himself cleaned up his three. The meter changed there a little bit. I mean, tell. Yeah, he he can get he can get down on himself really quickly. Watch your hand there, Ken. It's soft enough where it fell in. You do those things. Yeah. Oh, Spike Heiser. We didn't see nothing. I mean, Weedy getting the birdie, lone birdie. That's an odd thing to see in this round so far. He's pushing pushing Justin a little bit there. Yeah, starting to get a little push. And now we are on to hole number 12. This is one of my favorite holes on the course because it's hard. It looks, it's 313 feet downhill and if you're forehand you can take it way out wide, but that's a huge way out wide of that left tree. And then if you're backhand, you've got to go up the gut. It's, this is really truly a golf hole. And 
Weedy pulling that green T-Bird, I believe, again. Held a little straight. I think that was a good choice, though, based on how he threw it a couple holes ago. Yeah, and I know this is this is a Z zone from Steven Schroeder. Is there a zone in this hole? <laughs> yes, he That's is. Ridiculous. And I'm not just, like, in awe because of its local disc golf. No, Steven is, you know, he's got the power of a top five pro in the world. He does. He has all the skills. Um, just yeah, trying to put it all long. together. And that's what we all try to do. Keep his head on straight. That it. was an ace run. Yeah. Yeah. Justin held it out a little wide. Oh, got caught up, but got all the way through. Yeah. A little higher, Weedy. <laughs> he drops him in. He doesn't doesn't shoot him straight at it unless he's Sorry. you know no, within no, thirty. No, no, no. Oh, I, no, you probably were. I just went. My bad. That's a good putt. Yeah, absolutely. Solid birdie. Can also knocking down the solid birdie. And Schroeder cleaning up his birdie as well. Hey, remember when everybody birdies except for Weedy? It happened again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the theme continues. They make up for the whole previous. And uh, Schroeder and Ken still holding it tight. Ken, Ken's I mean, putting in a little battle and taking every punch Schroeder can throw at him. This course is soft, but 9 down through 12, it's not that soft. I mean, these guys are putting on a show. Yeah, now we got hole 13, 633 feet, par 4. Several gaps you can choose, far right, straight ahead, and the dump left forehand, or dump out on the left side forehand. And that looks like what Schroeder's lining up here. So he's going really safe. I mean, that's a really safe play, but with his forehand with that much power, the safe play still gets him a really clean second shot. Absolutely. Ken choosing that middle gap. A little high, but makes this, it out. This was a dangerous hole, too. I was really curious to see if both of them got clean. He's out there past the, He's got less than 300 feet to the basket. Very nice. Yep. Big flex forehand. Solid forehand from Justin as well. Yeah, it really is. You might see a roller. I just have this feeling you're going to see a roller. Nope. You never know with Weedy, but <laughs> he's throwing it straight out the gap. All these guys clean out the mouth. That's a solid, solid shots from everybody. I mean, both rounds, I, I think I never saw a round or a card get through all four of them clean. So Schroeder coming in with a thumber. Oh, come on. Yeah, really wide. That thing panned way more than he wanted it's it to. It's a mash, though. He was like 370, oh, something yeah. like that away. So add Thumber to the checklist of things that Schroeder can throw. Remember, Weedy was between discs here. He couldn't decide between a putter and a rock. He finally went to a putter. At like 3.30 away? Something like that. Wow. I bet he's a little short, but oh. looks like a good throw. Can saw it off a little bit, but he's got a putt. This second shot was deceiving. I mean, both times I got out of the gap clean, and, you know, you get those little distance markers down there. But for some reason, the placement of it was a really good placement. Kind of tested your your touch. Schroeder about 45 feet out. Bang, bang. Got him. Knocks down a solid shot. That was a hell of a putt. Yeah, that's the thing about those spin putters. They can putt from about anywhere. Weedy should have thrown the rock, man. Came up a little short off the shot. Short on the putt. Tap in that solid par, buddy. That didn't come to rest in the basket. It did. No, it didn't. <laughs> it did. I, we will put the instant replay. I, I'm Don't not sure. Me. I'm not sure what I saw. I just <laughs> saw a par. <laughs> yeah, good putt, Ken. Ken knocking down the birdie putt. Holding pace with Schroeder. I mean, he's almost putting pressure on. You know, when you're playing this well on a course like this, you know, you're shooting 10, 11 down through 14, 15 holes, uh, and, and you're not gaining, you, you know, gaining a lead on someone else. Steven might feel a little pressure here. Yeah, I could imagine. 
Uh, both of them shooting 10 down through 13. That's that's pretty hot. Yeah. So here we go, hole 14. This is a little dinker. Uh, stroking distance on this hole. There is a cart path about 5, 6 uh, feet, 10 feet behind the back. Yeah, it's about 10. And it's long grass behind there, so even if you do check up a little long, you'll be okay. But it's a total distance checker. And Schroeder yeah. puts that zone right up underneath it. It's not a hard hole, just if you start thinking a little bit too much, it'll be hard. Ken also using a zone. Yeah. The same thing. Yeah, Hanging out a little wide, but he's right up there. All right, Weedy, here's your chance. Star frame. Let's go. Uh, I think he might have done it. Did he do it? I think he did it. Yeah, Weedy, that a way to come through. I mean, we should just, like, cut this and go to the next hole. That was – yeah. I mean, for these guys, they needed to do that. If you don't do that on this hole, you really messed up. Yeah. Bang, bang. I didn't mess up in Star frame. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't, Weedy. <laughs> you did not. Oh, that's funny. So I missed Justin's putt, but he also tapped in. Uh, so we got a star birdie. Way to go, Weedy. You didn't mess it up this time. So these guys, they they put that little dinker hole in its place. Yeah, but then all of a sudden you have to play this next hole. Yeah, now we go down to the finish hole. of this course, which I was really excited about. Hole 15, 285 feet. The basket's perched up on a little knoll of a tee box, and if you go long, it's a big slope downhill. So Schroeder's line up a thumber. This is where this course really shines, these last four holes. Schroeder yeah. just holding it out there a little wide. That's a super safe play, though. He's up He's up one. Yeah. He's up one, and he throws a thumber on a, a hole that can really get you in trouble. It does leave the door open, though. Yeah, I think Kim was throwing a buzz here. I could be incorrect. That's a great shot. Yeah, it's a it should be 20 It's, it's putting up the hill to the point. Good. Yeah. Turns putter over a little bit much there. He's got a decision to make right there. Yeah, that's definitely a death putt. Same T-bird, I think. Uh, no, that's, that's a putter yeah. mid-range, I believe. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, he yeah, came up short as well, and that that thing is almost like a false front on a golf green. It feels like you're close, but you've got a 30-footer death putt. Schroeder. Smart. Just laying it up there, taking his three. Take the punishment. Justin gives it a little run down the hill. Yeah, he made the decision to kind of half run it. Weedy may be a little intimidated by the hill. I think so. It's easy to do on that one. That that is a. I was there both rounds, and you have to just kind of. It's a gut check. And Ken picks up That's that stroke break. on Schroeder, so. We are oh, – oh, sorry, I was talking to your putt there, Justin. We're right in this line, too. Yeah. I mean, that's our fault, bud. That's uncharacteristic. That happens, He's been man. hitting some big putts. Happens to all of us. Happened to Sexton. Don't forget it. Ooh. Hey, no, I'm just saying, like, next time <laughs> you're on the course and you miss, like, a little 15-footer, just yeah. it feels good to know that you're not the only one. Yeah, but absolutely. So he tied it up. Ken tied it up, going into the last three holes. And this is no easy stretch down here through uh, 16 through 18. Yeah, 16 to 17 have water, and 18 oh. is a, a really tough. Oh, cheer one. There's a cheer one. Uh, 18 is a really tough play. So uh, basket, you know, you can see the basket perched up there. Uh, you know, 336, it plays about It plays about the same distance. And you um, go long, you're gonna, you might battle that lake. You could find it. It's hard to find. Um, you're probably more likely to find the early pond if you just throw a really bad shot and clip a branch or something. Yeah. And that seems about what you want to do. No, don't go oh, that far. Oh, cart path. It's okay. I'm putting Why back. are you so mean? Schroeder lining up another thumber. He hasn't had very many good throws with thumber. Let's I do like I like the play, though. I really do. Oh, and he climbs the stairs right up at the basket. Good shot, Steven. That's a great throw. Oh, God, he almost fell. Fights through the branches, though. Uh, he needed the cart. He needed the cart path. Yeah. He slipped a little bit on that release and, and got a little bit of tree branches. So That one-step forehand from 330. 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's a great shot. And it, I don't know what that disc was, but I'm thinking like a destroyer, or like a firebird, or something on a flex. How many times you got a, how many times you got a T sign in your putt here? <laughs> I don't think he had to worry about it. No, he went with any route around it. Imagine if we had those kind of T signs on a golf course, on a disc golf course. That'd be amazing. Oh, clutch. Bang, bang from Ken. It's about 35. Oh, at least. Was it? Yeah, that's a great putt. That keeps him tied, I think. Yeah. Justin oh, making up for that short miss, hitting another long putt. Oh, sorry, I was assuming Schroeder's making this. I probably will. Ooh. A little weak side, but it got in there. Doesn't matter. Went in. <laughs> you know, we don't care about you, Weedy. We're just driving to the next level. Yeah. Ooh, look at the athleticism from the old man. Yeah, he's 40 now, man. Watch oh, out. Advanced man. senior grandmaster <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, he's playing something if he's not painting something. And Weedy ruining the birdie okay. or the star frame. So good job, Weedy. This hole is the crown jewel of Piney Point right Hole here. 17, 600 feet. It feels like it plays a lot longer, but water's OB the whole way, and it's actually staked. It's not the actual water line. So. You, you hit something right there, Pat. You said it plays a lot longer, or it plays a lot shorter than it looks. That's yeah, the water. Bye. Well, he's not carrying that, though. No, it's mm. way more. I don't, know if, I don't think he was I, going I, for I it, but <laughs> that line so kind either. of felt Holy like Holy crap, he almost... He went he, way out there, but was. it was way OB as well. So he's teeing again. Yeah, he right had away. to re-tee. So that is uh, – he's throwing three. And like I said, the stakes are the line and not the water line because of some rocks up there. So he has to re-tee for five. And that could roll out. Flip. No, it's not. That's staying in. And he wow. is lying five right there. And, or no, yeah, lying five and throwing six from that line. That's, that's tough. Did you just hear that there? I think yeah. Kid said something about nice win or something like that. Yeah, he he had seemed to concede the win at this point. It's a tough hole, man. I mean, Schroeder's got to stay in bounds to to secure it. And he That's does a beautifully not safe, great play. Even put it close to the water. Nope. He goes way up the hill. That's that takes a huge arm to get that high up on the hill. Uh, that's really really impressive. Yeah, uh, it's kind of tough. Sometimes you want to keep the pedal to the metal, uh, when, but when you see an opening that big, you just I think he did the right thing. Yeah, Justin playing it very similar as well. I think they're looking for that big downhill shot back to the basket. That's what makes this hole fun. You can saw off a lot, but then you don't have a downhill shot. So, Yeah. Weedy challenging that tree a little bit. And the tree won. But he'll be fine. I'm going to have a tough second. Yeah, he's got a little low seal. And I saw somebody get a three from this spot. Let's see what Weedy can do. Yeah. It can happen, but wow. Yeah. My man KB knocked it down. Can you do it, Weedy? I think so. If I could do it, you could do it, brother. Oh, he's got it out wide. Oh, didn't throw it hard enough. Yeah. No, he didn't. didn't throw he it didn't hard throw it hard enough. enough. Hmm. Should have thrown the destroyer. Yeah. Should have thrown the destroyer, Weedy. We saw that a lot. Well, Ken's going to try to do whatever. He, first of all, he's going to do whatever he can to get this under the basket. Put some kind of pressure. And clip some branches, too. I don't think that had much effect on it because that is a beautiful wow. shot. It is parked for a seven, unfortunately, <laughs> but he is parked. That's a beautiful shot. So Schroeder gets up and down here. He's gonna he's gonna take this tournament uh, down. Yeah. I don't know about this decision though. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow, he sawed that off. Wow. Oh wow. I, I'm not sure I understand the decision. Um, that looks like a backhand. If you're going to play the safest shot there, I think you want to go backhand and just play it up the fairway. Play for your four. Uh, but he's still – oh, no. Uh, Justin. You know what? That could have been worse. I saw yeah. a lot of shots like that go in the water. These guys – this hole is not being friendly to these guys. It is definitely taking some strokes away. Ooh, just barely. And if you're in the water right there – you know, if, if you're ever inbounds there, it's, it's a pretty tap-in putt. So, even if that rolled out on him, yeah. he, he's got that. Justin putting it right up there. That's going to be an easy par for yeah, Justin. Yeah, that's a good, very good save. Schroeder trying to get up and down. So, he's throwing four? Correct. 
Okay. Lays it short. It's a little short. Should be fine. At this point, he's think he's probably thinking too much. He went from playing disc golf to to having to think about how to secure a win. That's tough. That is so really he's tough. taking a six. He is taking wow. a six. And it has to be. It has yeah, to yeah. be some. Oh wow! Great putt. Weedy, weak side, but big putt. I think Schroeder has to be disappointed with that six. I mean, we all would be disappointed with the six, but he went and took his took you know the pedal off the metal a little bit on the drive, and then played safe and, and kind of got punished for it. And it's not over. No. So, Schroeder only gains one stroke after seeing Ken go OB twice off the tee. And these guys were 10 under through 13 or 14, and now they're 10 under through 17. So. Wow. That's incredible. Look at those pretty trophies. Yeah, dude. Love them. Hole 18, 585, par 4. You're trying to throw your tee shot towards that bunker straight ahead and hard left around the corner. It'll be more of a straight to a hyzer shot, depending on how far up the fairway you get. Yeah, and you don't want to tuck it up too far to the left, then you're you're in the you know, you got to cut through the woods. I think that's about where you want to be. Yeah, it's, it's about where you want to be, right up towards that bunker. That's just throwing another bomb. That's some sneaky distance. Yeah. That was a good 200 feet. Oh. <laughs> Weedy, the that's old man rip. showing off the arm. Destroyer, I'm sure. Yep. He throws destroyers pretty far. Dude, that's a PD2 from Schroeder. That's a heck of a shot. That is how you say, no, I'm going to try to win this tournament right here. Ken saying, I can throw just as far as you. All four of these guys, great tee shots. Right, those are, you know, 70 feet further than anybody else I was playing with in, in the advanced division. So that's why they're up there. Climb the hill a little bit for me. A little bit. It's a pretty 30 footer from Weedy. Once again, a little bit of a false front. That basket's actually back on a flat spot. It looks like it's right on the corner there, but it's a little farther back than you think. Oh, clips another branch. Right, he'll have about a 30 footer. So Ken needs it. Saws it off. He'll have about a 40-footer, 40 45 coming back up the hill. You know, Schroeder gets up and down. It guarantees the tournament. Wow. Wow. That is so uncharacteristic. It's strange to see him play so well for 15, 16 holes and then struggle. He had a chance to put it away. But even at this point, I mean, even with this bad he's played these last two, Ken still has to stroke like a, a 35, 40 foot putt. And the wind's picking up a little bit too. There you go. Wow. That is clutch yeah. from Ken. Absolutely clutch. Holy crap. I mean, imagine what he's feeling. You know, on 17, he goes, I just lost this tournament. And then now he's gone. Justin, just a little low. Now he's gone. I think we have a playoff. Yeah, that's a, that is a tie-up. If Schroeder can knock down this tap in, yeah, he's not going to be happy with it. I'll bet you it goes in and a. Uh, he looks a little dejected. Yeah, but he knocks it right down. You'll be all right, McPants. Part two. Yeah. You want to be McBeth? You got a part. You got to dress like him, I guess. Hey, man, Schroeder looks amazing on the course. Yeah, he does. He's always looking classy. Little elbow bump. Ooh, that's a pretty trophy. So we're going to a playoff. Playoffs. Going to a playoff. What are they doing? One until sudden death? Yes. All Go right. straight through from one. Uh, that's the 467 foot par four. Yeah. Um, but and like I said, they're playing. Yeah, it's three and a half for these guys. You know, a lot of these, a lot of our recreational players were throwing down to the lower tee pad areas down there, the ball golf tee pads, and then throwing across. But these guys, they can reach this basket. And you've got to give it an edge to to Schroeder here. Um, and I know Ken said that he going into this playoff, knew he had to go for it because he saw Schroeder go for it and make it twice. And oh, wow. Ken it puts in? it on. Is yes, it? Okay. he is. Wow. He is inbounds the first time of the whole tournament. And Schroeder 
Throw in his PD too. Oh, just he. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Unless he can All throw right. it in right here and put some pressure on Ken. Yeah, that's true, but. You can tell he's a little upset. He's parked this basket two rounds in a row and going into the. I knew he probably felt confident. And Ken puts in the eagle just for. And he's excited. Hey, he won on an eagle. He did. That's sweet. Hanging out. There's our leaderboard and our TD. Check that out. That's a really cool setup. We were all hanging out in here all day, couches, TV, watching some football. And there's KB, first place advance. Yes, Look sir. at this guy. I didn't even know you were going to throw that in there. Oh, Mike. yeah. I had to throw it in there. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I played pretty well, though. I think I got it by about eight strokes, so I, I bagged uh, that open. one. So we got a tie for fifth, so they're splitting 30 bucks, so they're getting 15 each. It's, uh, Watch out. Weedy. Big money out here at the Palooza. <laughs> Weedy gone. <laughs> Fifteen dollars. Weedy got fifteen bucks. All those. That's not Weedy. That's uh, that's who? Weiler. Who? That, that's that's Andy Weiler and Matt Chain accepting for. Uh, Scott. Oh, he's oh, hey, there he is. Scott Radley, Bradford Brigade, local, taking down fourth place. Justin had to dip out. He had to go to. Uh, he was actually an umpire for minor league team Canapolis Intimidators, so he oh, so. went out to work. And uh, Steven Schroeder. He got second. It's a pretty trophy for second place. Yeah, it is. There it is. These are, I like, these are some of my favorite trophies I've seen, too. Mr. Ken Taberski? Yeah, take it down. Not a lot of money in that pro pool, just because, uh, you know, that's how it works, man. $65 tournament. going and going. I look forward to coming back next year. I know he's not here right now, but I want to thank Steven for pushing and pushing and pushing. And, and I mean, we can go to a playoff. That's great stuff. And I hope that the video comes out great. Everybody can. And witness that draw. Came out terrible. You know, how bad we were in our last three holes. <laughs> sure. Um, but I mean, thanks to everyone who have set up the course, who made sure that, you know, all the beer vendors, the great trophies, everything was amazing. I'm glad I made the decision to come up. And uh, again, I hope to see it again. And uh, everybody go back and play some Kim didn't play those, those last three holes bad. Like you said, he played one shot bad. And he didn't pay for it, and he he pulled it off pretty good. A lot of credit. It takes a lot of adversity to to come back, you know, when you know you're sitting what one, two, three. He's sitting five when the other guy's sitting two. So Ken, well earned. Ken, last second sign up paid off, took down the win, and uh, that's gonna be it for the Piney Point Palooza 2016. Man, what a tournament! Man, what a finish! That was a heck of a playoff. That's two playoffs in a row that I've that I've filmed we put up here. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, keep watching. Yeah, absolutely. And, guys, we got coming up in the next couple weeks, we have the Carolina Clash. So come back around. Keep an eye out on us. we got a good battle between Barry Schultz, Michael Johansson, Austin oh. Turner, and Colin Carter. That's a fun card. That's yeah. Competitive. Yeah, and playing Nevin Longs, that's, that's going to be interesting for sure. So all you guys out there in Drive disc golf home land. safe. Oh, we ain't going to steal that. No? Okay. But, Fun Thank you all. Radio. <laughs> Final round radio. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in, and we'll catch you all soon.